Leaker programmable incremental encoders. We we're asked many times by our customers how easy it is to program these devices. So we decided to produce this video to show you how simple it is to do this. The encoder range is based around the 58mm standard industry standard diameter technology, mechanical technology. Uh, the electrical technology is based around the M12 connectivity, also M23, and you can also have a flying lead. So also you can have the 6mm and 10mm solid shaft versions and also the hollow shaft mechanical versions as well for simple encoder mounting. On the device there's also a zero push button at the back so simply the axis can be zeroed at any point by pressing that button. So currently this encoder is set to 1000 pulses per revolution. You can see the position count, the resolution is set to 1000 but the position count will count up to 4000 and down to zero and then back to 4000 again. The reason for this is it's edge counting on the quadrature so it's multiplying the resolution by four. In this case our customer said he wanted to have a resolution of 4000 so we can change that value to 4000. Now as we turn the encoder you'll see it goes from 16,000 down to zero and through to 16,000 again because it's 4,000 times 4 because of the edge counting. Another thing we can set as well, uh, we can set a preset position which will just zero without using the button on the device. So that's reset the position to zero. We can change the Z pulse width from the standard 90 degrees to the older Z180 electrical degrees. So we can change that simply if we wanted to. And then finally here we can change the voltage output to HTL which is whatever is put on the input so in other words if you put 24 volts in you will get 24 volts out also the direction if you find that your encoder into your PLC or counter is counting the wrong way you can simply change the count from down to up and that will change the direction of the count So we hope you found this video useful to see how easy it is to set these programmable encoders. And that would allow you to have an encoder on stock and a programming kit and be able to set the resolution, the signal level or the reference of that encoder for any application you may have. Also for situations where you have a breakdown and need something immediately, 